I'm going to take the pump out and I'm going to take the engine out and address the problems that uh, that need to be addressed. But I thought I'd make a quick video here of uh, removing the pump since there are probably some people on the net here that would like to see this process. Uh, essentially, uh, the intake grate uh, four 10 millimeter nuts here, uh, two more 10 millimeter bolts. This comes right out. We have the ride plate next. Same deal, 10 millimeter bolts. Although some some of the some or if not all of these are gonna need to be kind of like I'll say like retapped or uh, the the hull is not in great shape and a lot of these screws are just turning in the hole. So I'm gonna have to address that issue. The next thing I've done here is remove the steering linkage, which is essentially a 10 millimeter nut. There's a washer here, and then this part, this part here um, is actually part of that hardware piece, and it turns, it's got a little ball joint here, and it turns with that. You actually have to turn that out of the nozzle here, because that screws into this, this little part here. Um, the ride plate, I think it's the water um, outlet, these two guys here. One of these must be some kind of a baler pump. And I see, I don't know too much about this just yet. I'm assuming that this is the water inlet right here. Looks to me that that's the way that's working. Pump. So I'm just about to yank this out of here. And uh, I've, got, I've got it loose. Got her loose, and uh, we'll see. We'll see if it comes out with no issues. Um. Just fairly new to Yamaha uh, watercraft, but you know on Bombardier, this is the this would be the hull here. The drive shaft comes through, connects to your pump. On the Yamaha, these old Yamahas, you have like this whole part of the hull up until here is a void. So, I mean, when I pulled this off, there was like a little block of foam in there. I don't really don't understand the purpose for that. What the design idea there is, it just seems to me like there's... I don't understand what the point of having a, like this whole part of the hull, um, you know, just a, a void, an empty void. just seems like water will get in there and for no reason. Anyways, it's sort of weird. I don't understand why the end of the hull is here as opposed to here. Like this whole section here makes kind of no sense to me. Just looking down inside here, you have to 
you see there's a little too much clearance on that impeller so we're gonna have to do something about that here's the uh, drive shaft I'm not sure if we're gonna have to replace some bearings in there but we'll figure that out as well so anyways that's gonna be for another video so the next video on this well I've, I've got a, a whole other pump just like this from a wave runner 500 uh, it's a 1988 it's the same exact year it's just an identical pump but it's an older one and it's uh it's cracked actually so well, I'm gonna take that apart and see how it's assembled and once I do that I think I'll feel a little bit more comfortable about rebuilding this one putting it back in the jammer so stay tuned to the channel for more work on uh, the wave jammer and hopefully we can get this running by uh, next summer thanks